Hey ladies, I'm back. So this tutorial is going to be on makeup. It's going to be a very simple look and we're going to do a fiery red lip. Um, I actually had this look um, on my Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram at underscore ebony beauty underscore, then you will see this look and I have my hair done as well. Um, I will come back and do another video on my hair um, right after I do my makeup. Um, so let's get started. Alright, so first what I told you is I was using the Studio Fix by Max, uh, I'm sorry, by MAC Foundation. And it is a powder which I use a lot of it, so we're down to the 10 now. But right now what I am using is going to be Maybelline Fit. Um, a lady at my job actually uses this makeup all the time and her skin looks flawless. And I told her I'm going to try it and we're going to see how it works on me. My number is 355 and it is in coconut that's what the name of it is so we're gonna see how that works on me so this is the Maybelline fit and so I, I did use it a little bit yesterday and a little bit today but right now I have nothing on my face so we're gonna use it again and hopefully we get a really nice result so if you watched my um, what was it like a shopping haul on beauty supplies I picked up the Philips Milk of Magnesia and that was to um, minimize the shine that you get sometimes on your skin so that's what we're going to get started with. I just put a very small amount um, on my hands there. And I put it, I mainly focus on my cheeks and my nose and my forehead because that's where I shine the most. And there is that. Now, next step, what I do is. I add my foundation before I add my concealer or corrector. We talked about this in another video. So if you want to see um, the steps that I take to apply, please look up those videos because I have all the information there. So now I take a little bit of my foundation, my Maybelline Fit in Coconut, and then we're just going to apply that all over. And this smells really good too. Like I said, it's starting to get a little cold outside, so I definitely um, don't want to look ashy or dry um, with any of the makeup that I wear. So it was time to move over to a cream, if not a liquid foundation. And then just blend that in all over the skin. And you don't need much but I do add a little bit more to my dark spots just so that they'll be a little bit more concealed don't forget under the chin the jawline down the neck so we look blended there we go I'm pretty even I don't need much but the next step for me is going to be my concealer palette camouflage palette from BH cosmetics and once again you can see everything on my other video but we come in with this peachy pink color right here right up under the eye just to camouflage that darkness that I have under my eye and on down a little bit into the cheek area on the lid that's where my darkness tends to be And this uh, Maybelline Fit, it feels really light on. Um, I'm not sure how it's looking in the camera. I hope I don't look like I put a whole lot of product on because I really didn't. And it's actually breathable. My skin doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel like I can't, um, that my skin can't breathe. It's actually very nice on. So there's with my peachy pink underneath the eye. Then I come in down here, this color, and also a mixture of this color. And now this is my concealer. It is lighter than my skin, but I want it to be a little light because I have a little darkness and I want to brighten up that area. And then we'll come right back over that color um, with my Maybelline Fit Foundation. And I'm going heavy on the light just so you guys can see it. I don't put this much on on a normal basis. But I just want you guys to be able to see it a little up into the hairline as well. Not on the hair.
back with that same foundation right over top and I actually didn't add any more to the brush but you can if you need to but we're just going to blend all that color in not done yet I'm going to add just a touch more foundation just so you can see what I mean right over the eyes into the hairline the concealer the light concealer color is just that it's just to conceal just to brighten underneath the eye maybe you had a long night or something like that so you just want to brighten up that area right under the eye and that's all it's really needed for it's not supposed to make you look white or, or ashy or dry or anything like that so that's basically all that color is used for and now I hope I look concealed and corrected because that's all I'm doing alright now um, and oh I forgot to add another product which I do use on a normal basis um, and that is my primer for my skin I didn't use it today but I have bought one from NYX which is really good actually it was only about a dollar or two dollars I got it from Walmart um, this one I just started using and I'm about halfway through with it but it works really well so the process would be I put on my milk of magnesia after I put that on let it dry for a minute then I put on my primer let that it doesn't really need to dry it's kind of like a moisturizer but just let it dry a little bit before you start adding all your makeup so then if you add your concealer add that next if you add your foundation add that next and it just gives you a nice matte finish now the one I normally buy is Rimmel which um, this brand is their I'm sorry this one is their fit and fix and perfect this one is very good as well I do like the way that this one feels on the skin both are primers for makeup and it looks really nice once you put it on now my next step is going to be actually very simple I don't have much to add to my skin at this point next is going to be my glam eyes from Rimmel my mascara I'm not going to do a wing liner I'm not going to add any color to the eyes um, this is the most I'm going to do right here I've been keeping it pretty simple with my makeup routine but the colors are about to start coming out um, I'm really, really excited um, to play with the colors of fall, some orange and burnt reds and even some golden colors. So those colors will be coming out, but not for this tutorial today. On the lower lash line as well, just a little bit. I don't like um, when you put your foundation on and then you put it all over your face and then you have light colored eyelashes and it looks like you have no color at all. So just a little bit on the lower lash line. So that's basically it for my eyes. Then from there, we're actually going to work on the lips. Now, the next step, what I've done is I have NYX eyeshadow base, which I use um, on my eyes when I'm going to add any color. But I've also been using it for my lips. Um, and this is to apply any um, lip liner, any lipstick, anything like that. I know I look crazy with white lips, but it is for a reason. And another thing, ladies, as it gets colder outside, please don't forget to moisturize your lips. It's nothing less attractive or less sexy than having um, crusty lips, and then you want to put lipstick on it. It doesn't look very good. So I know I look kind of crazy, but it's all for a reason. Next, what I'm going to do is take my NYX in brown, and I'm going to line my lip. just like that just a light liner nothing too much then uh oh I had my lipstick oh here it is sorry I was like I had it then in um, NYX Eros if you can see that it is a bright poppin red I love it it has no browns in it it is a bright bright red lipstick and it's called Eros then I'll apply that It almost looks like it could be in the orange family. But I love how it pops. It's so beautiful. Alright. So as you can see, 
Really?